What's up guys? This is Ashlyn from Daily Beat. We are at Big Pink Diner in South Beach, Florida and we are eating disco fries. Disco fries. Yes. What's up guys? How are you? Good. How are you enjoying my so far? What have you guys been up to? Even better now with this. Yes. Right? <laughs> it just made your week. It did. It did. Yeah, week's been good so far. It's only a couple days in, so we're we're still we've been playing it kind of low key, knowing it's gonna get crazier today and tomorrow. Yeah, a bit. yeah. We're jumping yeah, yeah. full into it today. What parties you know? do you guys have going? Uh, we're playing the Beat Guys in the Hotel at the Clevelander. Uh, we're doing our buddy Tommy Sunshine's birthday party, so that should be awesome. There's a stacked lineup for that, and special guests. We don't even know who the special guests are. Uh, Aaron. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're we're playing with Cash Cash and Tidy and uh, Lucky Date and a bunch of other cool guys, so we're looking forward to it. Yeah. Well, um, last time we spoke in New York, you guys hinted at a collab with someone from 311. Yeah. Now it's coming out. Nick yeah. Uh, yeah. How was that? What was the process behind that? Like, it was it was kind of weird how it all came together. So that uh, I guess it was through like mutual friends. We knew his yeah. publisher or something. We were like, we should just reach out and like, who knows, maybe. And it turns out he was actually interested in getting into the EDM space, kind of. Just uh, all those guys that have been, bands that have been in bands that long are looking to do like side projects, branch out, whatever. So we happened to be out in LA, and we went out, he has a studio like in the canyons or something. Like that. Yeah, it's sick. It's like um, up in the mountains overlooking the water and stuff. It's yeah. Awesome. Uh, and it was really cool. We, we spent a couple hours with him and just vibed out. Um, the way it ended up working, we had like an instrumental kind of idea that we showed him. He doesn't like doing the on the spot, like, all right, let's write this, pressure. So he, uh, we kind of vibed, left, and then he likes to write early morning. He'll like go out for a walk and just like listen to it. So he was like writing to it, and then we did a bunch of back and forth, Skype, and that kind of thing. Yeah, we were psyched about it. I was yeah. especially psyched. Yeah. <laughs> like 311 growing up on the band and stuff. It was just, uh, it's pretty incredible to be able to do a record. And it came out. We were super happy with the results. Yeah. Uh, talk to us a little bit about your new EP coming out next week. Uh, yeah, Autonomous comes out April 6th. Um, so we've been working on the project for a while. Uh, probably like nine months. I know it's only four tracks, but it, took, it takes us a while to like settle on a record. It was like in between other we were doing remixes, we were yeah. doing other like one-off club things. Yeah. We were always working on the, on the EP. Yeah, it really started uh, kind of off of Tiesto's project. We were working on a town called Paradise with him on, on a couple of records, and um, we started branching out our sound a bit, just making some stuff that was different to show to him, and also just it's creatively we were doing something different with that, and uh, it turned into this thing. It kind of snowballed from a drum and bass record which is on the EP, uh, and that kicked it off. Uh, we did Head in the Clouds with Nick, and uh, worked with Rain Maida from Our Lady Peace on our record, and Green Carolina. Uh, so we just rolled that one out, too. Yeah, how was working with that? It was great. That was cool. here too, Same right? trip, actually, as Nick. So yeah, like a couple days up after him. meeting yeah. up with Nick. Uh, and we met up, like, three of the guys from the band were there, so they have a spot in Silver Lake, and... Uh, that one was one of the only ones on the EP that it was just like showed up with them, had nothing, and we just came up with an idea together. Um, and then you know did more back and forth Skype kind of stuff. But those guys are super cool, uh, and it was it was nice working with someone that's outside of the, the EDM space. But they they're also very like tuned in to what's going on there. So it was kind of cool. They were really psyched to like get into our world, and then vice versa. Yeah, yeah, we used to listen to a lot of like punk, more core type stuff in middle school, high school, whatever. And that's a hundred percent their world. I love where the they world come from. Colliding. Yeah, they actually originally. I think they wanted to make an instrumental record, like a straight up like club right. banger with us, like a, you know, big room record. Yeah, yeah. We were like, let's, let's write a song and like have Dave do the vocals and absolutely, stuff. And, absolutely. And it turned into that. So it's kind of this cool crossover thing. And uh, I don't know, we're psyched about it. Yeah. It's cool. Um, and the album's already gained the attention on Billboard, uh, MTV. You were just telling me how yeah. was that. <laughs> Pretty cool. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, yesterday, actually, they rolled that out. I don't know when this is going live, but it was yesterday in our time. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> so, they all might <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's up for pre-order now, and it already hit like the iTunes top 100 and dance for the album sales and stuff. So it's cool. I mean, we just did what we wanted to do and are releasing it independently on our label, Liftoff. So it's good to see like you know hard work pays off. You, know? you guys have any crazy stories from the making of the album or any crazy tour stories? That's a good one. It's like working with Nick from the <laughs> Well, yeah. I mean, I think just along the way, we were showing it to friends. We played a bunch of it for Tiesto uh, at some point last fall or something like that. And it, it's been interesting because the EP is kind of very uh, diverse and uh, it's a little different from the, the club records we've been making. Yeah. We just got like a lot of, like, this is what you guys want to do. And Tiesto especially, like he had some really good advice. He was saying, you know, uh, when you're just starting, really starting to build as an artist or whatever, you, it's good to stick to one sound so that people know like yeah. what it is that you do instead of like we do this and we do this and we do this and then they, some of your fans like part of it, some yeah. of your fans only like that stuff. So it was kind of uh, interesting for us because it was like we we're still super passionate about it, but we didn't know how it was going to be received because it is a little all over the place. Yeah. Yeah, every record label turned it down. Really? Yeah, we... Ha, look at us now. Well, the thing was, like, there were certain labels that were like, we really like this one song, can we have this song? And we were like, no, like, we really want to do it as a package. And they're like, all right, well... Yeah, but everybody wants a good. single, so... Okay, we're right. Do it ourselves. <laughs> right, right, right. It's more rewarding for us, like, to walk away from those experiences and be like, Oh, we're putting it out anyway, and it, it still gets well received by fans and stuff. Because um, at the end of the day, it's not the labels or any of that that matters to us, really. Like, as long as the fans think the music, then we're doing something right, and we like doing it. So, cool. <laughs> um, a lot of artists these days are moving towards like licensing their songs and their yeah. tracks for you know movies, TV shows, video games. Yeah. Is that something you guys see yourself doing, or are you kind of just focusing on producing and touring? Yeah, it's funny. You mentioned that because uh, before we were disco fries uh, in college, we were doing a lot of music for TV and stuff. So um, yeah, and we had we had a couple of disco fries records in like American Reunion, the American Pie movies and stuff. So I think we'd love to do more of the same stuff. And yeah, especially like a uh, matter of time on the EP, super cinematic. So seeing that like Batman vs Superman, my head would explode. <laughs> Um, if you guys could have one more member to your group, who would it be? Oh boy! <laughs> I don't know, personal chef. <laughs> Bobby Flay. Bobby Flay's the third disco friend. Yes. That's like the best answer. He leads every single day. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't think I asked you guys this last time, but if you could have uh, two DJs as your parents, who would they be? Oh. Uh, yeah, we did get this. We, but we're going to come up with fresh We're going to come up with better because okay. we did Mark Garrix and Yoko Ono. Oh, yeah. Just because we wanted to see that like pairing. Uh, that is such a weird pairing. Though. Yeah, that's, that's not good. I think that was your intention. Like, you totally yeah. opposite. I don't know. I mean, this would be equally as weird. Because I was going to say, who are like the two EDM father figures to us? Tommy Sunshine and Tiesto. <laughs> oh, you're just pairing them together. <laughs> I'm not necessarily pairing them together. I'm just throwing those names. Oh, okay. All right. Tommy Sunshine would be an awesome dad. Yeah. He, he's more like an uncle to me. Like, I, I see him more as an uncle. <laughs> He's like super wise, but kind of like lets you do whatever the hell you want type guy and like pushes you to do things that are rebellious. Really? So it's more like an uncle role. That's true. Right, cool he's the uncle. cool uncle. Yeah. That's true. He's Uncle Jesse. <laughs> uncle Jesse's Tommy Sunshine. I hope that better answers your question. It didn't really answer it's, it. It's around that they have a walk away there. No. Um, we're gonna come back to that. We're gonna think about that. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what's next after the album release? Are you guys just touring around? What's your what's yeah. your look like? We're we're touring through the summer. Um, our record, The Light, is still picking up at radio. Uh, it got released on Zoo uh, like last summer. Right. Um, Sirius XM has been playing the hell out of it, which is awesome. Like we're so psyched about it. So uh, still doing touring support in that. Uh, we have some other like one-off club release stuff coming up, but that's all like pretty far down the road. Um, 
and yeah, just we, we have more remixes. We finished one up for Morgan Page recently that we're really psyched about. And uh, I don't know, we're just always working on new stuff. So. Cool. Yeah. Well, I'm excited to see you guys at the hotel tomorrow. And, uh, good yeah, we're psyched. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you for the uh, Check out their new album, April 6th. Um, and if you want to check out Pink, Big Pink Diner, we'll have a link right down below. See you guys. <laughs>